Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another Fursuit Friday video. So today's video is 10 tips for making friends in the furry fandom. These tips will mostly go over how and where to meet people, as well as some pointers for helping you make a connection. So let's get started! Tip number one, go to conventions and meetups. Conventions and meetups are really good places to meet people, especially because most of the people there share a common interest. If you go to a convention, I highly suggest going to a panel. That way you're already in a space with a bunch of people who share a specific interest. And then boom! Instant thing to talk about. And if you can't go to a convention, tip number two is to join chat rooms and online groups. If you can't afford to go to conventions, or there's just nobody in proximity to you, then online resources are a fantastic tool. Two of my favorite places to connect online are actually Telegram and Facebook. They have really great group functions, especially for having large chats on Telegram with other people, or you can join a Facebook group where people discuss art or offer up commissions. And that brings me to tip number three, break the ice. This is especially important when you're communicating online. You don't want to start a dead conversation. Cause the last thing you want is this. Hey, what's up? Not much, you? Not much. Okay, okay. Talk about art. If they're into music, talk about music. Or if there's anything you guys are already talking about in a group chat, you can always talk about that. It's as easy as just asking them a question. And now tip number four. Friendship takes time to cultivate. It can take various lengths of time to cultivate a friendship with someone, but everyone goes at their own pace, so if somebody's not clicking with you right away, don't worry about it. These things take time. And speaking of time, here's tip number five. Sometimes people take time to respond to messages. Even if an online messenger says that someone's online, they might be away from their computer. Or they could be having a conversation with someone else. So if you send them a message and they don't reply right away, try not to be too pushy about it. And especially don't send them sad faces to guilt them into responding to you. Most of the time, they're not ignoring you deliberately. They're probably either away from their device or they're talking to someone else right now. So just be patient. And now tip number six, don't befriend people just because they're popular. I've seen people go well out of their way to try to befriend people that are considered popular. Oh gosh, I hate that word. And there's nothing wrong with trying to befriend someone that you either admire or look up to, but if someone's following your major social status within the fandom is a determining factor of whether or not you want to be friends with them, that's not a good reason. And now tip number seven, find a common ground. When you're first getting to know someone, it's really helpful to have a common interest that you can base your friendship off of. For instance, you might like similar music or like similar TV shows. Having that common interest will give you guys something mutual to talk about on a regular basis. So just ask them about the things they like, and if they like something that you like, then talk about it. And when you're talking about it, remember tip number eight. Start a real conversation. I know I kinda already went over this with breaking the ice in tip number three, but this deserves its own tip. Mostly because I get a lot of people sending me private messages on all kinds of social media platforms just saying hi. And while there's nothing inherently wrong with saying hi, it doesn't really give the person anything to respond with. Most people I know will pretty much just filter out any message that just says hi. But if you add on a little more to that first message, you're that much more likely to get a response from someone. Which brings me to tip number nine. Avoid friend requesting. Of course, if you're on a social media platform, you're gonna add people as a friend. But I'm talking about specifically requesting friendship from someone via message. Not only does this put the person on the spot, but it's really hard to respond to, especially because you just don't know the person yet. For instance, I love making new friends, but when someone says that to me, I feel kind of pressured. My rule of thumb for talking to people online is if I wouldn't say it to a stranger in real life, I probably shouldn't say it to someone on the internet either. Because it'd be kind of weird if a random stranger walked up to you in person and said, hey, wanna be friends? And I'm sure they're a fine person, but it's still kind of an odd way to approach someone that you haven't met before. And now, tip number 10. Quality over quantity. I see some people trying to gather up as many friends as they can, and it can be kind of hectic. In my experience, you're going to want to build quality friendships rather than a quantity of friendships. What that means is it's probably better to have a few really close friends that you can trust and talk to all the time than it is to have a million friends that you barely know. But that's just my personal experience. Maybe you want to know as many people as possible. So thanks for watching 10 tips for making friends in the furry fandom. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do you have any tips I didn't cover in this video? If so, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Your comment could be very helpful for someone who's looking for some advice. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe down below, and hit the little bell to get notifications anytime I upload a new video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video. Psh!